Not sure if you fellas can see that. There are two otter there and they're mating. They were right up on the shore here when I come walking. I spooked them off the shore. And yes, they are mating. Way cool. Yeah, that's something I've never seen before, guys. They were sitting right up here, mating, and when they see me, they jumped into this water here, and he didn't even get off her back, and they moved so fast, they were through there out in the water, and, um, yeah, they just swim around there, and not sure where they went, but I guess they are go somewhere to finish their honeymoon. <laughs> Oh, that was interesting. Never seen that before. Always see something new when you're out trapping. And um, I'd had a beaver trap in here and it was snapped, so I'm pulling it. Well, friends, I'm sitting up another beaver house. I had my boat over there. I just pushed my way across here to this one. I pulled them other sets there yesterday where I saw those lovesick otters um, just wasn't catching the beaver there one of my traps there got snapped a couple times and I think the that big old beaver that was in there he got a little bit trap shy and so I thought instead of wasting my time over there plus it was kind of not that easy to get in there so I just pulled them I come out and I set up here um, this was an old house that was dead for a few years and the beavers rejuvenated it and so there's a lot of runs. There's one there but I kind of probed around there with a stick and I think it's closed off. And this is a big one but I think it's closed off too. I could not find an opening there. Um, I know they're using this one. This is where they always have their feed bed. And it, um, I've caught beaver there in the past, but it's usually a little hard to set up because there's so many sticks sticking out there and everything else. So what I did, both of these runs seemed open. There's one down there, I got a trap, a belial, and one there, I got a belial in there. And I'm going to put a drowning set here on a foothold. Over there, out there, the water's deep enough. And they've been coming up through here. And they had a scent, have a scent mound here. So kind of in the light, I guess. A scent mound here, and it really smells strong of beaver. So I'm going to drop this foothold in there. It was a homemade wolf trap that can't be used for wolves anymore, but it worked great for beaver. So there's my weight. Concrete poured into a jug. I'm going to throw that out there and set my foothold in here. And on my beaver sets, there's what I use for a lock. I just put a wolf lock on there. Put it on... It's a lock for 1 8 wire and I put it on 3 30 seconds and it slides down good and it grabs good there. They don't come back up. So anyways guys, I'm going to get this set and we'll see what tomorrow brings. Well, I'm on my way out to do the first check on this beaver house right across there. It's pretty windy today. I hope I can push my way across there without the wind taking me down that channel there to the other end of the slough. But I think we should be able to get it. So we'll go take a look. It is windy. Now right off the top guys, I can see both my conibear traps or my body grips are set. But my foothold is gone. The cable's going off that way, so 
Let's try and pull it in and see what we got, if anything. Being that I had my weight down there and the cables pulled off this way, once we think I had something caught fairly substantial, so let's see. I'll pull it up. Well, that's no good. One toe. One toenail. Well, I guess all I can do is reset it and, and um, hopefully we'll get another chance. Maybe it'll go through one of them corner bears. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't like to see that. But it is what it is, guys. We'll get it reset. Well, friends, just out at the beaver house again here in another windy day. And I see my foothold is still there. But I did catch a beaver in my conibear. And I don't know how that happened. He's caught by a hind leg. So he's crawled up on the beaver house here. So I'm going to dispatch him. It's a good sized beaver. All right, friends, I gave him a BFT. It's a good sized beaver. Hopefully it's the one that lost the toe and the foothold yesterday. So we'll soon find out. He's a big one. Caught by one hind leg. He sure got tangled up here. Wire wrapped around there. Uh, I'm gonna need two hands here to get him untangled. Cause he's wrapped up pretty good here on these poles, guys. <clears throat> but I'm happy to get him. Well, I've never had that happen before. This beaver, there was two runs that I had conibears in here. And this beaver was caught in one by a hind foot. And this other trap I just pulled up, it was snapped. And there's his front foot in there. He's missing missing a front front leg so I'm really glad I got him but this isn't the one that lost his toe lost his toenail anyways we got ourselves a good big beaver here guys so <clears throat> I'm gonna carry on thanks for watching